Hey guys, welcome to math. Hello. It's Miss Starling and Miss Parr. We're gonna switch things up today and we're going to do an asynchronous lesson for our notes. That way we can get more time to work with you in recursive review, okay? So today our notes are gonna be a review on area and perimeter. We have been talking about area and perimeter a lot in small group and on our recursive review quizzes, but also you guys were taught area and perimeter last year by your wonderful fourth grade teachers. So this lesson is just a review. You should already know all this information. Um, we are gonna go ahead and get started, all right? So take out the notes that look comparable to this. You need to make sure that you cut those guys out in a rectangle. Um, and you need to use four dots of glue, only four, and glue it in your journal on the next clean page, right? Ms. Parr is gonna get us started with our definition. All right, so we're gonna talk about area first. So area is the inside of a figure. Okay, it is measured in square units. And the reason that they're called square units is because we're counting up the squares inside based on the measurements for the length and the width, okay? So our formula for area, A equals L times W. So A obviously stands for area. L stands for our length. So if you look at the notes, we're color coding it blue for our length for all of our shapes. And then W stands for width and we're color coding that red for both of our shapes. And we're just color coding that that way it makes a little bit more sense since you guys are doing this asynchronously and we are not there to um, verbally tell you this. All right, so we are going to first start with our lengths. Um, I'm going to start with a shape one up here and I'm just gonna pick some random number and I'm gonna pick the number four. This shape is supposed to be a square, so we're gonna pretend like all of the sides are exactly congruent. I made this shape myself. Well, actually, Miss Farm made it. It's okay. <laughs> and we're not perfect, we tried our best, so it's, it's a square. All right, so um, my length for this is going to be four. Since it's a square, all of the sides are congruent and my width is also going to be four. I know that the opposite sides are congruent, so I'm going to just label them accordingly. But do I really need to do all four units for area if I'm only multiplying the length and the width? Not really. So if you don't want to include those, you do not have to. All right, so let's go ahead and plug it into our um, equation now because we're about to put... Oh, I didn't say that earlier. No. Um, so. We're gonna plug it into the equation, which is copying the formula. It's a formula when you have it, like, and it has the letters in it, but it turns into an equation when you have to put your own numbers in it. So we use the formula to make our equation. And you don't have to memorize this formula. It's going to be on this, did you ever talk about that? No. It's going to, we made this video earlier today and I messed it up, sorry. <laughs> um, so this formula is going to be on the star chart that we are going to print out and give you guys this week, okay? so. Um, I'm going to pull my length, which is 4, and I'm going to pull out my width, which is also 4, it's a square, we're congruent. Alright, I'm okay with us doing this one in our head because 4 times 4 is a math fact and it's a double, so we should definitely know that 4 times 4 is 16. And that gives me my area of this shape, so all of this in here is going to be 16 units squared, okay? And um, whenever you're giving your answer of area, you have to make sure that you put whatever units it is. So if this would have been centimeters, you would have put centimeters, inches, you would have put inches. And then you have to finally, you guys get to use the um, exponent that you've been wanting to use in PIMDOS. And you need to throw in an exponent up there. It's a two because we have two different dimensions that we were multiplying, okay? Um, and that is the area of this square. It will be 16 units squared. All right, let's go ahead and do our second example. In fifth grade, we're only going to do areas of um, squares and rectangles and other shapes that are square and rectangle-like or quadrilateral-like, if you will. Um, so you don't need to worry about like triangles or anything like that this year. Um, for this one, we're going to go ahead and use dimensions of my length is going to be five i'm going to write it up here because we know this and this this both of these sides are congruent and i don't want to mess up down there so five here and then i'm going to give my width of three all right so again i'm going to take the numbers from the picture 
plug them into my equation, and then we're going to start doing some multiplication. So five times three. three. Oh no, but that's, I feel like that wasn't what the problem was last time. Okay. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was like, how did I mess that up? All right, so again, math fact, five times three, that's 15. And we have our unit squared again, because again, there are two different dimensions that we were dealing with. All right, and that is how you solve area um, of a square or a rectangle, All right? Really, it's the same lesson, <laughs> but we're just gonna keep going. Yay, math, Woo! Hey guys, welcome back. We're ready for part two of our lesson and we're gonna go over perimeter, okay? So perimeter is the distance around the outside of a figure. Let's go ahead and box around. That way we go around the word around. So what they're meaning, it is every single thing, all this whole, all of these four colors. I mean, there's just two colors. <laughs> it's all of this. It's the distance around the figure, okay? Um, our formula that we have for perimeter is length times two plus width times two. And again, we went ahead and color coded the different lengths and the widths just for you guys because we know that it's a little bit hard for us to remember which is which right now. Um, so we color coded them for you. All right, so remember we have it as times two because the length is the same for both sides. So two of those and then two for the width. So the length I'm gonna use is, I'm just gonna do what we did last time and I'm gonna keep it as a four, okay? So this length right here is four, I know. This one is four, and this is actually a square, so all of the sides are going to be congruent, going to be the same, okay? So, length times two, so my length is four, plus my width times two, my width is also four. So, four times two gives me eight, plus four times two again gives me eight, which gives me a sum, a total of 16. So if you notice, this one just says units. We're not doing units squared because we're not counting the inside, okay? So whenever it's perimeter, it's just whatever it is, units, centimeters, inches, whatever it is, okay? Go ahead and look at shape number four. So for shape number four, we are going to use a length of five. Not 15. Not 15, a length of five. So again, if we know the top, we know the bottom. And then a width of three. So same process over here. I'm gonna start with my length, length times two, five times two. Width, three times two. And I'm gonna carry it down. So five times two gives me a product of? 10. Thank you. <laughs> three times two gives me a product of? Six. Six, if I add them together, 10 plus six, I get a sum of. What do you notice about our square and our rectangle? They have the same perimeter. That was on accident. We didn't mean to make that happen. But, you know, it did. Kind of cool. All right. right. So we have a perimeter of 16 units. Good job, guys. Um, so you'll notice this is really, uh, like, very easy, pretty simple. This is definitely a review compared to some of the questions we've been having on our recursive review. <laughs> Um, this should be pretty straightforward. We're going to go ahead and say bye to you now. Go ahead and make sure that you follow all of the directions in sequential order on your Schoology page. Um, do not come up to us and let us know after you finish each assignment. We promise we'll check on the computer. And then we will see you guys in recursive review, all right? Thanks so much for learning with us today. Bye. And that really is all for today. Bye. Hey, guys. I believe you're gonna have to restart that because you weren't close enough. <laughs> okay. What shape on the back? <laughs> what shape on the back of what? This so oh. I can keep it because my board's ugly. Bruh. Bruh. Bruh.